Good evening, everyone. Good evening, teacher. How are you? Oh, my goodness. How are you guys? How was your day? Good evening. Good evening. Wow, I'm tired. I know, teacher. I need a massage. <laughs> Your cat, the cat is wonderful to that. My kitty, I don't know where he is. Ya, ya es hora que, que, que se fue a buscar a la novia, al techo. Ay, qué varón. Yes. Ah, problem. A big problem. <laughs> A big problem. And your day? Very tired, too. You are a teacher, right? Yes, yes, I'm a teacher. Yes. Uh... Debemos de cambiar de profesión. <laughs> sí. Yes. Typical in these times. Totally true. Very difficult. Yes. Um, but anyways. Yes, uh, but... it's... Uh, Something that are nice, but others is difficult. Very complicated. Are... Yes, a complicated. Do you remember this? Okay. Yes, teacher. Okay, in a second, please. Okay. This was um, the Jones family, right? And we were talking that the Jones family is in the park. Mm -hmm. uh, they are having fun. The birds are singing. It's a beautiful day. Mr. Jones is reading the newspaper. Mrs. Jones is listening to the radio. Sally and Patty Jones are studying. And Tommy Jones is playing the guitar. The Jones family is very happy today. It's a beautiful day and they're in the park. What about right now in your house? What's happening in your house right now? Do you remember that activity, this exercise? What's going on right now in your house? In my house, in this moment, um, I'm studying English. Mm -hmm. uh, my neighbors are singing music. Listening to music. Listen music, yes, listening to music. Mm -hmm. um, some Placemates are here with us. Mm -hmm. And it's an excellent night. It is. It is excellent mm -hmm. night. Cool. Night. Yep. Mm -hmm. And I, I, you are alone. The last time I remember that you were alone in your house. Are you alone yes. to, today? Yes, I'm alone in this moment. It's uh, possible that one daughter uh, will come to 
at this night. It's okay. possible that one daughter will come this night. Perfect. Mm -hmm. That's good. Mm -hmm. uh, thank you. Someone else. What's going on in your house? What's happening in your house? Hi, Tisha. Hello. Can you hear me, Tisha? Yes. Ah, okay. Uh, in my house, I'm taking my English class uh, right now. My father is watching the news on TV. My brother uh, just arrived uh, from Un Paseo en el Cerro. And for the moment, that's all. Okay, cool. So, uh, thank you very much. Now, check this. This is another family, very similar. The Jones family. And this is, oops, another family. So, I want you to tell me what's, what they are doing. You can invent the names, Miss, uh, the, the Martinez family, whatever, but I want you to tell me the activities they are doing right now. Who wants to volunteer? Okay, Reina, Carolina. Yes, Reina. Escucho entrecortado, fíjense, por ratitos entrecortado escucho. Oh. No sé si ustedes escuchan bien. Se escucha cortado. Ajá, yo escucho bien cortado. Ok, pues espero mejore. Ok, but tell me, or tell us, okay. Reina. Ok, esta. This is... Um... Um, Martinez family and uh, um, there are uh, two women one woman and one daughter uh, the mother is possible the woman is a mother and the mother is reading a book mm -hmm. the children are playing with the dog and one child is sleeping. The father is take a plant, taking a plant, I plant, suppose. Planting. A plant, a plant, planting. 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 Only that. Okay, that's good. Mm -hmm. That's good. More options? Uh, oh, Maria Elena. Thank you, uh, Miss Bolaños. This is the Johnson. Oh, no. Let me start over. Okay. This is Thompson family. They are in the yard. The father is planting vegetables in the garden. Mrs. Thompson is reading poetry. Poetry. Poetry, poetry. Um, his, her daughter and his son is playing with the dog. And he, her little baby is sleeping. All is happening in a sunny day. That's it. Very good. And what? Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, that's good. Someone else? Probably more options.
El sí. Good evening. Good evening. They are the Shabok family. Uh, your father is planting plants in the yard. Mrs. Shabok. Um, she is reading the Bible. They, they have three children, Mary, Michael, and baby Sarah. Mm. Mary and Michael playing with the dog and Sarah sleeping. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's another option. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much, the good option. Okay, another option. with more more actions who can tell me another option carolina you are very quiet today what's going on with you are you sad no se me ocurren más ideas come on um because nobody mentioned the birds, what are the birds doing? Singing. The birds are singing. And what's the sun doing? The sun, not the song. The sun, the, the sun is shining. The sun is shining. Mm -hmm. Okay, two actions that, if you remember this one, the Jones family is in the park and it says, the sun is shining and the birds are singing. So that, Pasó por alto acá. The sun is shining and the birds are singing. And everybody is busy in the house. Mr. Martinez is planting flowers. And Mrs. Martinez is reading a book and drinking um, a margarita. Mm -hmm. Delicious. And, okay. And they are having fun. They are having fun. Se están divirtiendo. They are having fun. Okay, good. This is another one. What about this one? Ah, they are the Martinez. What are the Martinez doing? And now you have the names. Alex Martinez, Tina Martinez, Jimmy Martinez and Mr. and Mrs. Martinez, and the Poppy Martinez. What are they doing? Yeah, something is, there's a problem uh, with the connection, probably. <clears throat> Por eso se escucha así. María Elena? <clears throat> this is the Martinez family. They are hanging out, not in their house, but in the beach. As you see in the picture, uh, Mr. Martinez is cooking a delicious baku. Mrs. Martinez is drinking a lemon tea, a cold lemon tea. The June Alex Martinez is 
is uh, reading a mat. A mat because they are in a new place. Mm -hmm. Jimmy Martinez is dancing because she she likes dancing all the time. Um, Tina Tina Martinez is swimming in the sea, and the dog is ready to play um, with the ball. Perfect. All this happening at, uh, at the beach. Mm -hmm. Cool. And uh, <clears throat> yeah, thank you very much. That's a good option, hanging out. Hanging out. Pasando el rato, right? Hanging out. Good. That's really good. Okay. <clears throat> There's not a, a big problem with this, right? Let's do more practice. Just no questions. In this one, we're going to do this. <clears throat> Esta la modifique un poquito. Just no questions. <clears throat> Ya a esta hora la voz ya no da. <clears throat> okay. Um, in the pictures, in the images or the photograph, you have two options. Number one, for example, is Frank busy? Y luego tienen cleaning his apartment. Esa es una opción para la respuesta. Le, la modifiqué para que la conversación sea un poquito más extensa y la conversación sería así. Listen. There you have three examples. Is Frank busy? Yes, he is. Responde. Luego vuelvo a preguntar. Is he cleaning his garage? En esta pregunta dan una opción que no sea la de la imagen. Cualquier otra opción distinta. Is he cleaning his garage? Para que la respuesta sea negativa. No. He is not cleaning his garage. Y luego dan la respuesta que es la correcta. He is cleaning his apartment. Ahí le puse flat, pero es apartment. Apartment and flat es lo mismo. El flat es un poco más británico. Apartment es el gringo. Ok. Example number two. Is Helen busy? Yes, she is. Is she feeding her dog? No, she is not feeding her dog. She is feeding her cat. Mm -hmm. Example number three. Are you busy? Yes, I am. Are you cooking? No, we are not cooking. We are fixing our television. Okay. Now, let's see the exercises. There you have number four. I need one volunteer para modelar otro ejemplo. I need a volunteer. Okay, Maria Elena, thank you very much. Um, are Jim and Lisa busy? Yes, they are. Are they cooking dinner? No, they aren't. They are painting their bedroom. Okay, thank you very much. Now, number five. Now, Maria Elena, you ask me. You The questions meet the answers. Are you busy? Yes, I am. Are you watching TV? No, I am not watching TV. I'm doing my homework. And that's it. 
Mm -hmm. Number six, two volunteers. Edgardo and Carolina. Yes, Carolina. That's good. Aha, Edgardo, the questions. Not very well. Give me, give me a second, please. Okay. Okay, okay, can you hear me now, teacher? Go ahead. Yeah, Carolina. Is Richard busy? Yes, he is. Is he watching a movie? No, he isn't watching a movies. He is washing, washing his clothes. Perfect. Okay. Number seven. Now, Carolina, the questions. Edgardo, the answers. Are Ed and Ruth busy? Busy. <laughs> busy. Yes, there are. They, they are busy. They are busy. Uh -huh. Um. Are they reading a book? No, they are not reading a book. They are painting the Sarabat. Perfect. Thank you very much, guys. Number eight, two more volunteers. Rebecca. Nevi, Rebecca, the questions. Nevi, the answers. Creí que no estaba, Nevi. Tenía dificultades para conectarme, conectarme de teacher, pero ya. Ah, ok, cool. Estaba configurando, se me Ah, ya. Yeah. But nice. Good evening. Welcome. La 8, ¿verdad? Number 8. Ok. Is Timmy busy? Yes, it is. Uh, is Timmy do her do his homework? No, it's not. Is fed his dog. Feeding. 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 Feeding his dog. Feeding. Feeding. Con yeah. R. Con R. En inglés, usualmente la D entre dos vocales se pronuncia como R. Como la T. Una, una T entre dos vocales se pronuncia como R. Por ejemplo, cuando escuchan better, no somos como... Bueno, ni somos tampoco gringos, pero eh, los británicos que ellos sí marcan la T, ¿verdad? Que ellos dicen uh -huh. better, better. Eh, acá, feed... Puede decir la D, feeding. feeding. Feeding his dog. Feeding. Pero lo más usual es como pronunciarla como R. Feeding. Feeding his dog. Mm -hmm. Good. Ok, let's continue. Now, eh, Nevi, you the questions. And Rebecca, the answers. Number nine. Are you busy? Yes, I am. Are you cooking a dinner? No, I'm not. I'm doing my exercise. Exercises. Good. Exercise. Number 10. Two more volunteers. Okay, Edgardo. Yeah, if there are no more volunteers, you can repeat. Dos por uno, como la nevería. Okay, Edgardo. Uh, Edgardo and Elsie. Okay, Edgardo, the questions. Is Wendy busy? 
no, she is not. Is she uh, cleaning her her room? No, she is not. She's fights fixing your bicycle. Ah, okay. Okay, okay. Me, me perdí por ahí, Marita. Ok. <risa> También porque yo pensé que era bien. I got wrong Estaba en la vieja. ¿Y dónde está? I got wrong. Ya, yeah, amigo. Edgardo Sorry. es Seth Wendy. Sorry. Entonces yo me fui a la 15 porque ahí está Wendy. Ok. <risa> Don't worry. En number Sorry. 10, yes. Ay, number 10 yo, is... yo también, no. también me fui a la 15. Yes. Okay. Pero yo empecé quién encuentra y quién encuentra y quién encuentra. Yo no tiene nada. Y, yo, y yo, me, yo me quedé en la 10, entonces, pero Edgardo tuvo la culpa. Cabal, yo también estaba en la 10 esperando la 10. Saquémoslo de la clase. Ok. okay. Sorry. Cool. We, can, we can repeat again, teacher. Uh, no problem. Go with number 11. 11. 11. And... 11. Ok. <laughs> ok. Uh, is Kari busy? With me? Yes. Uh, repeat, please. Is... And yes, she is. Uh, is she feeding her dog? No, she is not. She is washing her car. Perfect. Thank you. Well, good job. Number 12. <clears throat> 12. Reina Carolina. Victoria, no está Victoria. Y ya, ya me acostumbré a los que están así practicando siempre. Ok, Reina and Jonathan. Ok, Reina, the questions, Jonathan, the answers. Is Anwar busy? Yes, he is. Is Anwar cooking the dinner? No, he is not cooking the dinner. He is cleaning his yard. Okay. Perfect. Thank you very much. No, no. 13. Maria Elena. Hello, teacher. Hello, Cecilio. Excuse me, finish in the mass celebration. Oh. Y ahorita está en las tinieblas porque no lo vemos. <laughs> Yo también estaba queriendo hallarle forma ahí. <laughs> Voy a entrar Ah, oh, ok, ok. Be careful. So, um, ¿quién iba? <ríe> oh, Reina, en Rebeca. Vamos a esperar que Cecilio se acomode. Ok, Rebeca, eh, the questions, please. And Reina, the answers. Are your children busy? Yes, they are. Are they watching our windows? No, they aren't. They are brushing their teeth. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Washing, wash, washing. Mm -hmm. Washing. Four. Yes. Mm -hmm. Fourteen. Are you busy, Rebecca? 
Number 14, are you busy? Yes, I am. Are you reading the book? No, I'm not. I'm washing. I'm washing my window. Washing the window. Okay, cool. Um, we're going to chomp. La quince la dijeron más o menos por ahí. What happened? Mm, give me a second. Ok, espero no se aburran de los Simpsons. A mí me gustan. Um, I guess we didn't practice this because uh, we're going to now, we're going to combine a um, simple present and present continuous. If you remember, we use simple present to express um, habitual actions or um, routines or habits, right? There you have um, some examples for routines and habits. The Simpsons watch television every day. Homer goes to work by car. Marsh usually goes to the supermarket with Maggie. And when we use um, simple present, we use sometimes adverbs. And if you remember in level, level one or two, you practice frequency adverbs. Always, usually, sometimes, never, hardly ever, seldom, often, to express frequency, right? To express frequency. So, examples. Bart sometimes plays football after school. Lisa always plays the saxophone. And we use simple present to express permanent actions or general truth. For example, <clears throat> the symptoms live in Springfield. Cats and dogs have four legs. Homer likes pizza very much. And Lisa and Bart love watching cartoons. And that's simple present. And we are going to do, ah, you are going to do it. To tell me your daily routine what you do or what you usually do every day. For example, I'm going to give you my daily routine. I get up at 4.30, listen, I get up at 4.30 every day. I take a shower and I prepare my coffee and I get dressed. I always prepare this. Every day, I get dressed, I get ready, and I go to work at 5.20. I go to my work. 
I start work at five uh, at six forty five every day. I finish my work at twelve noon, twelve p.m. So I come to my house. I have lunch at one p.m. And after lunch, I relax for some time. I start working at five in the afternoon. And I finish at 10 p.m. every day. That's my routine. Mm -hmm. Now, who wants to express your routine someone a short routine personal routine teacher yes Good evening. Oh, ya. <laughs> ya logré conectarme bien. Okay. That's good. Estoy pasando por el, por el centro penal de Salco. Ay, oh. toda zona bien mala. Uh, But you're still driving. Yeah. Yeah. Uh. <clears throat> Tengo una eucaristía saliendo de misa, pero ya. Ya voy. Ok. Eh, están haciendo ahorita la, eh, la rutina del día, ¿verdad? A routine, yes. A short routine. Ok, voy a intentarlo. Ok. Ay, la routine de ahí. Uh, Fai, bien. Levantada de compa. Get up. Get up. Get up. Uh, uh, six. 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 Yeah. Uh, the March celebration. Seven. Yeah. Confession. Confesiones. ¿Cómo dice? Confession. Yes, confession. Confession. Uh, uh, Aiden, Ian, uh, breakfast. Desayunar, ¿verdad? Have breakfast. Uh, night, Ian, uh, visitre, visitre, uh, uh, sick. Visitar enfermo. Visit sick people. Visit sick people. People in the hospital. Mm -hmm. uh, in, your, in your house. Uh, 12. Meridiano, ¿cómo se dice? Los dos. Noon. 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 Pero siempre así, 12 noon. 12 noon. Or you can say noon. No. Only noon. Uh, noon. Uh, noon. Uh, el lunch. Eh, one p.m. Así, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. One p.m. Van bien. Eh, un ratito a descansar, como una siesta. ¿Cómo dice siesta? Take a nap. ¿Cómo? Take a nap. Take a nap. Uh, two, two bien. Uh, a, atender. 
é, atender, atender a atenção atender attend attend the people uh, cons conse conselheria counseling cons counseling uh, uh, confession and confessions uh, Six p.m. Uh, in the mass celebration. Seven. Seven thirty. Seven thirty. Seven thirty. Uh, in the mass celebration. Uh, Uh, in the com in las in las comunidades communities community six y six y en y six bien in the church uh, más o menos ese es mi, mi itinerario y nadie bien estoy en clase inglés Perfect. Very busy. Thank you, teacher. Bye. Okay. Good. Thank That's you very much. Mm -hmm. Good. Thank this you. is your, your routine. That's another example. So, yeah. the, yes, thank you. The idea is this. We are going to now to complete this sentence. But now you have to choose simple present or present continuous. But you have the options there. Yes, he is. He loves it there. No, I'm not. I'm living in Singapore now. Yes, we are. We really love Miami. Yes, I do. I like it a lot. No, they aren't. They're living in Atlanta now. So... Kathy and Martin are speaking. Let's complete the conversation. It says, are you still living in Miami, Martin? No, I'm not. I'm living in Singapore now. Wow, do you like it? Now, which is the best option? Do you like it? Yes, I do. I like yes, it. I do. Yes, I do. I like it a lot. And is your brother still working in Seoul or Seoul? Is your brother still working in Seoul? Yes, he is. Yes, he, is. he loves it there. Perfect. Yes, he is. He loves it there. And how about your parents? Are they still living in Florida? No, they aren't. They are living in Atlanta now. Very good. No, they aren't. They're living in Atlanta. Now, how about you and your family, Katy? Are you still living here? Yes, we are. We really love Miami. Perfect. Yes, we are. We really love Miami. Okay, Katy and Martin, another practice. Two volunteers. Edgardo, you are Martin. Camila, you are Katy. Good, Camila. So, Camila, you start. Are you still living in Miami, Martin? No, I'm not. I'm living in Singapore now. Wow, do you like it? Yes, I do. I like it a lot. And is your brother still working in Seoul? Yes, he is. He loves it there. And how about your parents? 
are they still living in Florida? No, they aren't. They are living in Atlanta. How about you and your family, Katie? Are you still living here? Yes, we are. We really love Miami. Ah, that's great. Perfect. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Good. Thank you very much. Um, who was next? Let me see. Navy and <clears throat> Mayra. <clears throat> Nevi, you are Katy. Okay. Are you still living in Miami, Martin? No, I am not. I am living in Singapore now. Wow. Do you like it? Yes, I do. I like it. It a lot. And is your brother, he's working in Seoul? Yes, he is. His love is this there. And how about your parents? Are your parents? Are they still living in Florida? No, they aren't. They aren't living in Atlanta. How about you and your family, Katy? Yes, we are. We really love Miami. Nice. Thank you very much. Let's see. Rebecca, you are Katy. Ana Carolina Martin. Are you still living in Miami, Martin? No, I'm not. I'm living in Singapore now. Wow, do you like it? Yes, I do. I like I like it a lot. And is your brother still working in Seoul? Yes, he is. His love is there. And how about your parents? Are you are they still living in Florida? No, they aren't. They are living in Atlanta now. How about you and your family, Cari? Are you still living here? Yes, we are. We really love Miami. Perfect. Thank you, ladies. Um, I don't know, someone else? Two more? Last ones? Maria Elena? Me, teacher. Okay, so, Jose. So, uh, Jose, you are Martin and Maria Elena, Katy. Okay, perfect. Are you still living in Miami, Martin? No, I'm not. I'm living in Singapore now. Wow, do you like it? Yes, I do. I like it a lot. And is your brother still working in Seoul? Yes, he is. He loves it there. And how about your parents? Are they still living in Florida? No, they aren't. They are living in Atlanta. How about you and your family, Kathy? Are you still living here? Yes, we are. We really love Miami. Okay, thank you. Well done. Perfect. I have Lazaro here. Who wants to help Lazaro? Okay, Elsie. Uh, so you are Katy Elsie and Lazaro Martin. Okay. Are you still living in Miami, Martin? No, I am not. I live in Singapore now. Wow. Do you like it? Yes, I do. I like it. I like it a lot. And is your brother still working in Seoul? Yes, he is. He loves it there. And how about your parents? Are they still living in Florida? No, they are in, they're living in Atlanta. How about you and your family, Katy? Are you uh, still living here? Yes, we are. We really love Miami. Perfect. 
That's really good. Now, there you have more. These ones are short tests. Again, you have to choose. You have verbs in parentheses. You have to complete the ideas using simple present or present continuous. Okay? Number one says, this is my cousin Martin. He lives in Houston, but he is visiting Peru this summer. Uh -huh. Continue. He is taking cooking classes. He's taking cooking classes there. Good. Number two. Go ahead. They have been working in Paris, in Paris this year. They are working in Paris this year. They are on vacation right now. They are on vacation right now. Good. What about number three? Um, Jose? Sorry, I can't hear. I can't hear the the text. <laughs> oh, you can't or my read emoji. Yeah, they. I. I. Oh. Oh. Uh, I can't. I can't see. I can. Okay. Okay. Why? I can't. They I are not working now. Mm, okay. They, oops, they are not working now. It says, here's a photo of my grandparents. They aren't working now. They are, they are retired. I repeat it, retired. I repeat that. They are retired. Four. This is my sister in law, Amanda. She she wants to start her own company. That's it. She wants to start her own company. She she is studying in Australia in Australia right now. Perfect. She's studying business in Australia right now. And number five. He goes to high school. High school. Or he's going to high school. Mm -hmm. He. He likes history. He likes history. He likes history. But, but he but he, he isn't like in terms like in terms mm. he's not like he don't like chemistry he doesn't like chemistry, he, he, doesn't like chemistry. Huh? Edgardo? he doesn't like chemistry he doesn't like chemistry that's the he's... correct one doesn't play. Um, yeah, and this is a good observation. Hay ciertos verbos con los cuales no se puede utilizar ING. Por ejemplo, like es uno, porque no podemos decir eh, me está gustando, no me está gustando. En español, sí, suena bien pero no en inglés. En inglés no usamos el ING con el verbo like. ¿Ok? No, no se puede decir... ¿Solamente con el verbo like o hay más verbos? Picture? Hay más verbos. Eh, con los que no se utiliza ING. Exactly. Eh, podría ser... Sí, hay muchos, pero digamos los que se relacionan con los 
sentidos. Por ejemplo, el verbo love, no podemos usar ing. Con los sentimientos. Yes. Por decirlo así. Por ejemplo, porque en algunos... Hay un tema, de hecho, específico para esto. Um, el, 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 el verbo love, no podemos decir I am loving. You are loving. Uh -huh. O oh, no podemos... Believe. El verbo creer, believe. No podemos decir I am believing. Estoy creyendo. Son verbos, yo creo, right? Um, y hay otros que, que sí, se, 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 se puede y no se puede, dependiendo del caso. Sí, okay. chef, entonces ahí sería, I am believe. No, solamente I believe. I believe. I believe. Okay. Uh -huh. Yo creo, I believe. Uh -huh. um, sí, hay una, una lista amplia de verbos con los que no se puede usar el ING. Hate podría ser otro. No podemos decir I am hating. Simplemente I hate. You hate. She hates. Ok, el verbo odiar. I am hating a uh -uh. Aunque en español se escucha bien, pero no en inglés, ¿ok? Let's see. Ok, this is for tomorrow. I'm hungry. 9.56. Ok, attendance. Um... Pero no sé. no sé, yo siento que me han modificado la asistencia. Vamos a ver. Brenda Rachel. Lesbia. José Elido, por ahí está. Ana Xiomara. Yeah. Ana Xiomara. Present teacher. Reina Carolina. Present. Álvaro Mauricio. Present teacher. Wendy Graciela. Present teacher. María José. Camila Alessandra. Present. Edgardo Ernesto. Present teacher. Rebeca Vanessa. Present teacher. Lázaro Alberto. Present teacher. Gabriela Abigail. Present teacher. Karina Yamilet. Present. José Oswaldo. Jonathan Adonai. Present teacher. Ana Carolina Jiménez Lima. Present teacher. María Elena. Present teacher. Carla Elizabeth. Present teacher. Karen Xiomara. Teacher, Present. I am Oswaldo. Victoria de Los Ángeles. Present teacher, Oswaldo Hernández. Okay. Teacher, yes. teacher uh, eh, creo que después de Carla, Carla no sé cómo es el apellido, sigo yo pero no me mencionó. Eh, sí, por eso les decía al inicio que veo modificada la lista, pero vean, lo voy a mencionar, ya vi que solo han, creo que han hecho... Oh, wow. Han hecho sí, porque un cambio. yo era la última. Yes, listen, pero, pero sí aparece. Okay. Okay. Eh, okay. Dije Carla Elizabeth, luego Karen Xiomara, eh, Victoria de Los Ángeles, 
Ella no está. Carla Saraí. Present teacher. Nuri. Present teacher. Susana del Carmen. Present teacher. Mayra Esperanza. Present teacher. Elsie del Carmen. I'm here, teacher. Cecilio Alberto. I'm here, teacher. Nevi. I'm here, teacher. Nevi y... Yo soy la última. Es que no sé, me imagino... Creo que están por orden alfabético ahora. No. ¿Será? Pero sí es... No, porque han, yo han... soy Wendy y aparece en las primeras. Sí, de hecho, por eso mismo al inicio les dije, parece que me han hecho cambios, porque veía siempre Alma, creo que era la primera, Ana Carolina la segunda, y ahí es donde yo me enfocaba que era la nómina, eh, pero han, han cambiado. Algo han hecho ahí los coordinadores que han cambiado el orden, quizá quiénes son los que iban terminando plataformas, ah, no sé, pero... Han cambiado el, el orden. Pero si sí están todos, a todos los mencioné. Sí me mencionó, Tiche, pero yo no me veo aquí en la, en la pantallita. Pero sí la mencioné. Ok. Sí. Good night. Good night. I'm teacher. hungry. Night, I need to go tomorrow. to the kitchen. See you tomorrow. Tomorrow the last class. Ahí me mandan... <laughs> Coffee. A party tomorrow. Good night. Good night, good night everyone. Good night. See you Have tomorrow. A good night. See you tomorrow. 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 Good night, teacher. Good night. Good night, teacher. Good night, Ana, Carolina, Jiménez, Lima.